questions. So, Coach, whenever you're ready, take it away. Well, um, the, first of all, um, man, uh, got to give a lot of credit to Syracuse. They, those kids played their tails off as they have all year. Um, I mean, they they are three plays away from being six and one, two overtimes, and then obviously last play game here tonight. Um, and then you got to give Dino and his staff and, and those kids a ton of credit. You know, they just keep battling, keep battling. So uh, I know it's a tough loss for them. And, and then for our guys, we've had four one possession games in a row. I don't know when the last time we've had four one possession games in a row. Um, and uh, we're three in one of those games. So, you know, the positive is we're finding a way to win. Um, but, you know, really making it hard on ourselves with, with so many, um, you know, just could, things that we control, you know, just misplays, um, um, critical penalties. Uh, we come right out in the second half, got a huge drive going. We snap the ball 20 yards over the field. And then we overcome it and we drop the ball. I mean, just just a lot of um, just critical mistakes. Uh, but you got to give these guys credit. They just they, – they battle. Our kids battle. They believe. Um, we're just a, we're not a very clean football team right now. I mean, defensively, uh, disappointed in the first half with how they ran the football. Uh, obviously had the two big plays that, that led to the first score in the run game. But we did a great job in the second half of stopping the run. And, um, you know, you got a, uh, a nice lead there. Uh, but uh, next thing you know, it's, it's you get a third and 12, you're off the field, huge penalty, late hit, out of bounds. That changed the complexity of the game for most of the second half because they ended up – they didn't score, but they put us on the two. And so we played – on a very long field, and they played on a short field there for a good while. And uh, and then the third and 15, they got a corner, comes out of coverage, and then fourth, and they, and they get it, and fourth and seven, and then the big play over the top. So they really just made the one big play uh, in the second half, and it was a critical one. But for us offensively in the second half, I mean, it was just, just missed opportunities and penalties and uh, just critical errors. So, uh, But we did enough to win the game. And that's the objective. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we, we've got a, we got a lot of work to keep improving, but, you know, we've won two in a row. Uh, so, you know, that's some momentum for us. And I thought DJ played his best game tonight. Uh, I thought he played really well. He put some, some great uh, uh, balls. It was several we should have made. Uh, and we made some, we made some huge plays. I mean, that play by Ross was a huge play down the goal line for the half, but, uh, uh, play by Ngata, uh, David Stout had a heck of a game. Uh, you know, we did some a lot of good things in the run game. Um, and, uh, you know, Kobe had some nice plays. Moffa did some good things. So, you know, we're continuing to grow. Uh, we got a, a mixed bag and who's playing. Seems like every week, you know, JoJo got his first start. Uh, he made a couple of nice plays. Um, you know, uh, Mason Trotter <laughs> hitting his first ever start at center. Uh, he doesn't know until right here, you know, that he's going to be playing. And uh, he's been out all year with a, with a broken hand, he just got the cast off. And obviously everybody's going to remember the snap. But, uh, you know, I think he did a, a, a pretty dang good job. That's a, that's a tough front, a tough scheme with all the movement and all the things that they do. Um, and uh, But, again, uh, just, you know, we have 14 scholarship players that are unavailable right now. So, uh, every week, it just seems like we're we're finding a way. And uh, Nate Wiggins goes in there. He's got to make some plays. We, we got Mario back this week. I thought he was excellent. He made some huge plays, some PBUs. But we, Booth is a pregame scratch. Uh, so it's just a – it's a – it's a – we got a lot of players that are out. And, uh, but guys, you got to give these kids credit. You know, they're continuing to find a way and, and battle. And uh, so I'm proud of them. Special teams, uh, obviously, the fake punt was huge. But uh, Will Spires is – has been excellent all year long. Uh, coverage was good. Uh, another big, big field goal uh, by Potter two weeks in a row. Uh, we've won the turnover margin, and uh, that's been the difference in the game. We've gotten points off the of turnovers too. So uh, hopefully that's a trend that we can continue to, to improve on. But, uh, again, four one-possession games in a row, uh, it's, uh, that's, a, that's a tough way to, 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 have to have to do it. But, that's where we are right now. And uh, I'm just proud of them for, for fighting and scratching and clawing and finding a way to get the win. Um, I guess last time we were up here on a Friday night was in 17, and, and, and it was the other way. And 
that was a playoff team uh, that got beat up here. So it's a tough team. And uh, uh, just, again, got the objective done. Uh, glad we get an extra day of rest. Uh, we'll get back and regroup and got another another all-in game next week. Uh, I guess a good pit team. We'll open the line to questions. Please identify your name and outlet upon asking your question. Hey, Coach, it's Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, was it 2017 when, when you ran the fake punt with Spires um, that, that was not successful? And um, have you just really been waiting to unleash that uh, at, a, at the right time this season? Obviously, he has the, uh, actually, he has the quarterback background. We, we actually ran a fake punt on him last year and hit it. Uh, it was a, it was a, a keep, um, a little punter keep uh, that we ran kind of a, a punt option for him, and uh, so I think that's two years in a row we, we've been successful. On. But we, I think we, I think that was we were up here and had one that was unsuccessful. Uh, but uh, it was a big one tonight. You know, it was a big play for us. And again, we, we knew we had a big body, and uh, you know, he made a great play, great throw, great, great catch. Coach, um, I, I think it was Davis Allen made the, the catch on that play, and, and he had a, a big night, especially in the first half. Um, obviously, he was ejected in the in the first quarter um, last week, and that was a big loss, or last game, and that was a big loss for you. But uh, how, how big was he tonight? Uh, Davis is Davis is one of the best players we have on this team. He's he's an unbelievable, you know, football player. He's he's a complete player. Uh, he's, he's incredibly committed uh, to our team. He's just a, he's a great worker. Uh, he's, he's really committed to everything he does. I mean, Davis Allen is one of the most respected guys on this team, but he's a very good player. And uh, just a matter of time before, you know, he kind of gets it going. So it was a great, he was a, he was a huge weapon. For, he should have had two more big plays. You know, we had the, the TFL, a uh, little, little RPO to him uh, behind the line of scrimmage there, and, and we just don't block the guy. I mean, we just completely missed the block. I mean, that, that's going to go a ways. We come back and hit him later on, a huge play. We get a holding call <laughs> on the same play. And then we had a little, uh, uh, you know, offsides kind of throwback play. And we got three guys to block one, and we don't touch the guy. Uh, so he, he had some more opportunity if we clean up the execution a little bit. Um, but he's a very good player. He does it all, man. He plays special teams. I mean, he's on field goal. He's on punt. He plays – he plays his tail off, and obviously uh, Galloway's been out now for a couple games, and uh, uh, Sage Ennis uh, is stepping up for us, and, but, but Davis came through in a big way tonight. Yeah, but this is Matt Connolly with ClifftonSports.com. I know you said one of the big keys for the game was just containing Tucker and Schrader. How did you feel like, other than maybe a couple of big plays that you guys did in that area? Yeah, uh, you know, I don't – where is he at? Uh, well, he averaged 0.9. Uh, so I, I'd say I'd say we won that matchup. This guy, he he's been running all over everybody. Uh, and uh, so, you know, and I think that's a problem. That was a mis- obviously a real mistake there by Malcolm on third and fifteen. You know, I mean, he just got to he got to let him run. Let's go rally to him. You know, he, he wasn't across the line of scrimmage and he left his coverage and he made a big play there. But we did a really good job. I mean, we were able to contain him. He really didn't do a whole lot. The running back is a great player. He really is a great player. That kid is special. And uh, they hurt us in the first half, I mean, for sure. Uh, we, we, we were supposed to box one on the, on the early ones, and we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't have a box player. And then uh, we didn't fit it right one time with our backer. Um, and if you don't against that guy, man, they're going to find it. And that, that number five, they got, they do a great job on their little search play there and a lot of scrimmage. And, we worked hard, um, you know, all week, and again made some cor- corrections and, and did a much better job in the second half. Uh, you know, outside of the again critical penalties, the third and fifteen, the fourth and seven, and the big play. Uh, it's really, you know, what kept them in the game in the second half. And those are things that we 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 control. We got to do a much better job in that situational football and just having, you know, some football intelligence and awareness uh, in those situations. Again, the critical late hit uh, cannot happen. Uh, the third and 15 coming out of coverage cannot happen. Um, and, uh, and then the big play over the top of us and understanding the situation in the game. Um, you know, other than that, we did a much better job uh, there in the second half.
Hey, Deb Owens, uh, Phil Cornblue with Sports Talk Radio Network. Are, are you pretty much resigned to the fact that uh, for this team, the rest of this year, this is the kind of game you're going to have to win, the grind it out, low-scoring game, keep your offense from making mistakes and, and lean on your defense to, to win these type of games the rest of the way? Well, I mean, defense is the strength of our team right now until our offense, uh, you, know, uh, you know, grows up a little bit. And, and starts playing a little cleaner. I mean, again, we did a lot of good things, but uh, you got to find a way to win. That's all. That's all we are resigned to, as you said. You know, whatever we got to do to win a game, and uh, every week is a season of its own. It really is. Uh, that's how you have to look at it. You know, we've got a lot of uh, inexperienced players offensively. A lot of moving parts. I mean, it's, it's hard to get continuity and rhythm. Um, you know, when you have some of the critical mistakes. Uh, that we're having, but we we just got to keep working. We got to keep working, keep keep uh, uh, finding a way, and uh, you know try to help them the best we can. But uh, obviously, you know our defense is a very experienced group, and even there though we got a lot of guys out. I mean, you're talking. I mean, Brian Z, Tyler Davis, you know, Andrew Booth, um, Fred uh, is out. I mean, a lot of guys uh, not available, not playing, but. You know, hey, at the end of the day, again, four one possession games in a row and we lost one in double overtime and we found a way to win the other three. So um, if that's who we are, that's who we are. Uh, but hopefully we can um, you know, continue to see if we can get a little better. Hey, Coach Sweeney, Chris Idell from Herbertson Radio in Baltimore. Congratulations on the win tonight. I want to ask you about that fake punt. I you think you haven't, you haven't done that since the ACC championship game, right? A couple of years ago? You know, the fake punt. Say that the, again? Yeah, Say that played again? 90, yeah, played 97, you know, the fake punt to, to in the late second quarter. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't done that since the uh, the ACC championship game, like, like against North Carolina, right? No, 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 no. That was not a fake punt. Uh, let's make sure you, we correct that. That that was not a fake punt. That was just a punter that took off uh, on his own. So wherever old Teasdall is, if he's hearing that, it, he, no, 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 no. That was not a fake punt. That was a punter that lost his mind uh, in, in, a, in a game. So long live my man teased off. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, so, but uh, we faked the punt on Syracuse last year. Uh, it was a, a, a keeper with, with, uh, with Spires, but, you know, it was, it was a big play for us tonight. Davo, this is Larry. Do, do the penalties and, and things that you are kind of a common sight on offense, is it more frustrating that it comes after an open date when – You've really tried to hammer those things. Yeah, it's critical. I mean, you're offside, you're holding. Uh, you know, again, third and twelve. You get a guy late. Just some, just some, some silly stuff, man. Uh, that that were costly in critical times. But you know, we were not the least penalized team tonight. That's what. That's a part of our plan to win. Uh, we overcame it. You know, and I think that's a, a result of, uh, uh, you know, just the points off the of turnovers and uh, special teams, you know, made the difference for us tonight. We made the kick. They didn't. Uh, obviously, we had a big conversion. Um, but, uh, you know, the penalties are frustrating. And it's just some execution, some missed plays. I mean, just missed, flat-out missed plays uh, that frustrate you. You know, we're making some, too. Uh, but just consistency, you know, is, is, uh, you know, frustrating, but that's where we are right now. We're just going to keep grinding and, and, uh, sooner or later, uh, hopefully we can, we can play that perfect game. Yeah, well, this is Matt again. How did you feel like, uh, the offensive line played as a whole today? And then some of those young guys that got opportunities, uh, I guess when, when some guys got soaked out. Yeah, well, I need to see the tape uh, to really be able to answer that, uh, but but not anywhere good enough. Uh, I thought we ran the ball well. I mean, we were doing some great things in the run game. We were getting some rhythm and, you know, then just critical mistakes um, and penalties, et cetera. You know, again, opening drive, we got a chance to really go and uh, do some good things, and we're, we're moving it. And there goes a the snap. So critical penalties. Uh, and, and some sacks, you know, where guys just got beat. Uh, so, you know, we got a true freshman in there who's, who's a work in progress. Um, so, you know, we're just, again, Rayburn, you know, out uh, with, with uh, 
COVID pro first COVID protocol situation we've had since fall camp. Uh, so, you know, just when you feel like you got some, some rhythm and some continuity, uh, he's out and, um, uh, you know, Putnam, uh, really didn't practice, uh, you know, he didn't practice at all on the open day and he just got really going, uh, Wednesday afternoon or whatever, uh, Tuesday afternoon, our, our Wednesday, Thursday type practice, um, with his foot, uh, he had some mistakes earlier, but, you know, we're just nowhere near, uh, nowhere near what we, what we're capable of doing. Uh, but again, you know, we made some critical plays too, and, uh, we found a way to win. So we just gotta, we gotta keep grinding and, and, uh, make it work. Coach, you, um, Trevor, again, you said that uh, Andrew Bruce was a pregame uh, scratch. Can you elaborate on his status? And um, how do you feel like Sher Sheridan Jones uh, stepped up in, in his place? He did some, you know, he did all right. He had the one, you know, critical, I think it was not been a third and 10, uh, got beat on the dig route. But uh, he did okay. I thought Nate uh, did some good things. Uh, really good to see him. He's a, he's a really young, uh, talented guy. Good to see him get out there. And, it's the most significant time, critical playing time he's had in, in you know, the season. Um, uh, good to get Malcolm back going. Obviously, he had a critical mistake. But I thought Mario, I mean, getting Mario back, I mean, it's huge. Uh, he's been out. And, uh, you know, he had four big PBUs, almost had a huge pick. So, I'm proud of him. Um, so, it was a lot of we – we had a lot of guys, man, a lot of guys that are, that are playing and, and stepping up uh, in some critical roles. So, um you know, but Booth, Booth was uh, just in you know, his tightness hamstring. Just couldn't, just didn't think he could go. You know, he had it taped up and all that stuff, and just didn't think he could, he could, you know, go like he needed to. Uh, you know, better than those other guys that were helping. Hey, Dabo, this is uh, Davis Potter from the Clemson Insider. On that fake punt, did you feel like you guys just needed to try to hold momentum at that point, or was there something in the way Syracuse lined up that played into that call? I just, it's, it's something I just felt like that, you know, something we've worked on, you know, all year. Uh, we've done some sky punts out of that. And I just felt like that we had it set up. And uh, it was just a matter of, uh, you know, making the right type of throw. And uh, and he did. And then Davis went up and, and finished the play. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Was Syracuse doing anything differently pass rushing wise that I guess made it a little bit more difficult on the edges for your tackles? No, 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 man. We worked hard all week on, I mean, we knew coming in there, you know, they, I think they're second in the country in sacks and right there top in the country in TFLs. And, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of movement um, that you have to catch a lot of twists, a lot of picks inside. And we worked hard all week, uh, and then all of a sudden you don't have your center. Uh, you got to move a couple of guys in different spots, and you know we just they just beat us on a few plays. And again, some critical penalties uh, as well. But well, you know I can like I said answer it a little bit better once I watch the tape. But they pretty much you know did what they thought what we thought they'd do. Hey David, David with ESPN. I, when DJ talked earlier this week, um, he talked a little bit about sort of feeling like he was forcing balls or aiming balls a little too much, and he was trying to get past that. I, I'm an idiot watching from my couch, but it, it seemed like he was doing a little bit of that uh, tonight as well. Is, is that what you're seeing? And how do you address a quarterback who you feel like is doing that a little bit? I thought he played his best game. We're, we're whatever, what are we, four and two? So of our six games, that's the best game he's played. He put some, he put some huge plays uh, together. Uh, again, some missed opportunities, some very accurate throws. Uh, I can think of two that he missed. He, he kind of came up short on an RPO hitch, and he had a one uh, little shot ball that he overthrew. But other than that, he put the ball on the money. Uh, we just didn't make enough plays for him that were there. Uh, so, you know, I thought he played his best game. So I, I'm not sure how it looked from your couch, but from, from right here, he, 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 him doing his job, he played his best game tonight. Now, uh, this is Matt again. Is there anything you can point to with just some of the, the drops that happened tonight, not finishing some of those catches? It's got, you know, it's just fundamental. You got to finish things with your eyes. You know, I mean, just you finish it. I mean, great throw on the sideline. And got it. Oh, my goodness. And we don't make that one. Obviously, the play action, Rossi kind of stumbled 
uh, kind of rolled his ankle a little bit and uh, kind of stumbled on the play. And that kind of, I think he lost his balance on the ball there. Um, and uh, that was a huge one. He had one other one. Uh, it was a misplay. Uh, so just finishing. And then again, we had a couple of ones that we completed, two to Davis that should have been big plays. And we literally just have one guy and, and we just you know, one play, receiver don't go block him. Uh, and then the other play, we got three linemen to block one and we don't, we don't touch it. Uh, so, you know, we just, just got to clean up and, and we don't have that type of room for error. We just don't. We're not a team right now that has great room for error. We're very inexperienced offensively and it shows. And uh, we've got to, we got to continue to grow them up, but you got to give them credit, you know, for fighting and finding just enough to, to get it done. And, and that's the name of the game. But, um, you know, we, we uh, uh, got to keep getting the continuity in the offensive line. That's been a problem for us. Again, it's been a, you know, uh, who's who uh, from a consistency standpoint. Obviously, Putnam's been out. And again, he didn't play the last game. And then he's, and then he uh, literally just got back going uh, a couple of days this week. Uh, you know, didn't take any full speed. So we got to get him back rolling. Uh, and then we had some, again, some, some penalties that just you know, cost you and you can't get in rhythm and that type of stuff. We'll take a couple more for Coach. Uh, yeah, Joe, Chris Carlson from the Syracuse Post Standard. Um, did you guys do anything different defending Sean Tucker in the second half? Because you obviously did a better job. Well, yeah, well, we fit our gaps better. And, you know, when you got a box player, you got you got to box it. You know, when you don't, as we knew that coming in here. If you don't, if you don't do your job against this bunch, they're going to fight. Like the first one, we don't box it with our end, and then the other big run in the first half, we, we don't fit the right gap. And when you got a scheme like they have and a running back like that, they find that. And that kid can, man, he can, he can make it happen. Um, I'm really proud of what we did with the quarterback, though. I mean, he, he really was not a huge factor with his legs like he's been. Um, I mean, he's been awesome. And, uh, you know, obviously they had the one big play in the passing game. Uh, well, really, too, because that third and 15 was huge, too. You know, him finding the guy, uh, we made it easy there. But uh, just, just doing our job. Just doing our job. We were physical. We, we, were, we were tackling uh, better than the first half, but mainly just uh, executing the call. Abo, do you know if Rayburn is going to be out next week as well? Uh, I don't know right now. We'll take Abo, uh, obviously, nobody on this offense thought going into the year that that you'd be struggling to to hit twenty points. Do, do you like the way they have persevered and sort of kept their spirit? And, oh, and yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, and you can, you can, yeah, now we've got quarterback keep battling. And they, they, they competed their tails off, man. I mean, you know, they, they just keep battling. And yeah, I mean, this is, we're nowhere near uh, what we thought we'd be. Uh, but we're, we're continuing to battle. And, uh, you know, we've got to continue to help them as coaches and keep them encouraged and continue to just coach our tails off uh, again. You know, every week it's it's going it's going to be a one possession game. We we got to make the critical plays that don't make the difference to cut out some of these mistakes that can cost you. All right, thank you, coach. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.